Hey there, my name is Jake Milstein from Critical Insight. I'm joined by one of our lead consultants, Dustin Smith. Dustin is a CMMC expert, um, and he just finished, he's one of the first folks to finish the certified CMMC professional exam. It's even it's in beta. So like, does that even mean you finished it if it's in beta? I don't know if it's real or not yet. I don't know if it's real now. <laughs> so, so, so a lot of folks, you know, who are going through CMMC are wondering what's on the exam. Can you give people a sense of what's on the exam? Sure. I, mean, I can't go into a lot of details because there's an NDA for it, but Really what it covers is the regulations involved with CMMC. All that we do to protect CUI, which is what CMMC is about, is controlled unclassified information, is derived from government regulation. And so it gets into the executive orders and the DFARS, the defense uh, regulation for con protecting the controlled unclassified information. And so you have a, a good understanding of the regulations and how it works with contracting, and it allows you to get a good idea of how to scope out your environment, your IT environment, to be able to protect in the CUI and be compliant so that you can pass your certified CMMC assessment. Got it, got it. And um, were there, you know, were there any big surprises on the test or it's everything that pe that we've been telling people so far about 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 what's in the NIST 800-171 and 172 and, and and all of that. Yeah, no surprises there. There, all the information that was that, we, that I was tested on is about 800-171. Uh, all the information that's been put out for CMMC and how they're going to uh, conduct the assessments. It did get into some areas because it's more of a test about how do the assessments, uh, how are they conducted. It went into certain types of security controls that you can put on a POAM and how how much time you'd have to remediate them and what can, what certain NIST controls that you would have to, uh, you'd have a limited amount of time to remediate during the assessment. Some of those finer uh, details that, that don't get put out uh, into the public, um, it tested on those. And it was a lot of scenario-based questions around scoping and ethics and how to do control, how to implement the controls so that when the assessment's being conducted, you're able to have a standard uh, interpretation of whether it's being met or not met. Yeah, and so uh, and so how did you get to take it? Like, could any can anybody sign up to take it or is there are there classes you have to take before? How, how does that work? There are classes you have to take before and they have to be done through an approved uh, training partner through the uh, the DOD. It's through the Cyber AB, which is a, a nonprofit that works on behalf of the DOD to uh, manage this the CMMC program. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's only designated training partners you can go through. You have to get go through the designated training, and then for the beta test, you had to have gone through the training uh, before a certain cutoff point to be invited for the beta test. And I just happened to take the the training. Uh, at the right time. Well done. Well done. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, and 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 I mean, I think that does underscore, you know, that you are one of the first people to do this. And, you know, there are plenty of people in the world who call themselves expert, not so many people who can say that they passed the beta exam. The the so the exams in beta, does that mean they're going to be changing it a bunch or does the exam you know, in your opinion, look like the exam that will continue to be the main exam in the future? Yeah, a big part of the beta was, you know, to to test whether these questions were good questions to ask uh, for these certified professionals. And they're not releasing the results from it, but they are, they, they have flipped over to the official test now. Oh, and they have, so, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're going to have a town hall this month where they might talk about some of the changes that, in general, that they made to the test. Uh, I do know based on the feedback from other people that took the test that there was some challenging questions that could have, you know, he's kind of just picking the best answer. It's similar to uh, the CISSP exam mm -hmm. where you have to pick the best answer, even though one might be very similar and almost correct. 
So you're saying it's like the SATs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's funny. I picture all of these cyber professionals like going to a high school and sitting in a lunchroom and taking this exam together. But it's 2022 and that doesn't happen. Uh, Dustin, thank you so much for joining this. Uh, and folks, if you have questions about CMMC, you know, you can always get in touch with uh, with Dustin. You can get in touch with Critical Insight. Just email info at criticalinsight.com or go to criticalinsight.com. Uh, and uh, and contact us on the 800 number or fill out the form. We're always here for you and your CMMC questions. You know, all of cybersecurity is a journey, and you know, getting to this point with CMMC has been a journey for a lot of folks. Uh, and so, you know, we look forward to helping you uh, helping you on that journey. Thanks, everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you.